Uh-oh. Are you kidding? A second illness? Oh no, who is it this time? Oh, it's Willow. Unfortunately, we have to finish sleeping through the night, but that's very worrying. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Lakeshore Pack. Oh, pup, stay in the grass, please. I just want to make sure everything is safe. We're probably going to have to spend a lot of the days staying with the pups because several of them are quite sick. Unfortunately, Birch is down to 16% health, and Willow has also fallen ill. It doesn't exactly bode well. The pups are up to at least near 18 pounds, but... Nevertheless, it's concerning, and we do need to probably make sure we go and do a hunt before the beavers leave for the day. We want to just hop over here. We'll, we'll check around at some of these trails and try to get some food right off the bat here if we can. But we're going to be spending some time just staying here, which is... Oh, boy. This makes me think we have stranger wolves on the way, actually. Um, we might want to investigate that because I'm a little concerned that we're about to have a problem. Okay, there's no one over here. We're going to hop over to the other one, but I think first we're going to go investigate what that weird little trail into our territory is. Well, we've reinforced our territory, but the wind direction right now is a little bit, uh, a little unfortunate. It's making it difficult to tell what's going on. I can't smell any stranger wolves going back, though, so I think we may be okay, but I do feel better having this marked. I just wish it wouldn't have happened. This is definitely getting claimed. Well, no, it's just down below 50. Maybe it's not yet, but we're not going to worry about that one for now. I was mostly worried to see if this was a trail of stranger wolves coming into our territory. Right now, we need to hurry, get some food, and then get home because poor, poor Birch is already down to 12%. Okay, before we go to the rendezvous, we are going to try to hunt some beavers. There should be some just right over here. And I think the wind direction is actually in our favor. Yeah, it's blowing this way. There's the pups. The beaver trails are right down here. So if we can actually get a little closer, we'll see if there's any around. Oh, there is. Okay, let's sneak down right here. Get a little closer. We'll. Whoa, I did not mean to run. I pushed keys in the wrong order, so I guess we're doing it this way. Ah, get off of me. That was a bad bite. Not not ideal. Definitely not the most ideal thing in the world. Oh, goodness. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to regen stamina quickly. All right, as soon as it gets away, we have to bite again and let Hope get another bite. Regen our stamina and then let Hope bite. We're just going to do this until we get it down, which should be momentarily. Nope, you don't. You do not get away this time. All right. Now we're going to bring this back to the pups. It's not a lot, but it should tide them over for the time being and maybe even give Hope a little bit of food too. But we definitely need to hurry back because the affinity's low and we want to be able to spend some time with Birch and hopefully he'll be okay. Oh, he's down to 10%. Uh, that's not good. This is especially bad because Birch is incredibly low on health. He is down to 4%. <laughs> and now there's a bear somewhere that I can't even see. Um, okay, where, where is this bear? Where is this bear? Oh, he's coming this way, isn't he? Was that him that I saw over there? No. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, it is, it is, it is. I see him. Okay. All right. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Okay, Hope, please be careful. Bears scare me so much now. Bears scare me so much. Oh my goodness. Hope, be careful. Please be careful, Hope. All right, Hope's dodging pretty well so far. All right, we need to woof. We need to woof. All right, be careful, Hope. Please be careful. All right, oh, watch out. He's running. He is running. Okay, come on. All right, stay in the stay in the grass. Hope, be careful. Oh, that looked like a bad hit if he'd gotten hit. Oh, I think he I think he did dodge. I'm trying to keep an eye on his health as well. Okay, I think we've got it on the run. Oh boy, that was way too close. All right. I'm glad it's gone. Pups stay in the grass though. Oh, and Birch is down to 3%. Oh, you guys, I hate to say it, but this is not looking good. Ugh, Birch is on 1% health right now. 
I know it's not impossible. I think we've had pups recover pretty darn low before, but unfortunately, I really don't think he's going to make it. We're going to stay here and do our best, but at the end of the day, there's only so much you can do, and with this coming right in the middle of having to move to the rendezvous site, which is the biggest time of the year when we actually have to worry about our territory due to moving hexes, it was just very, very bad timing, and it seems to be a particularly severe illness as well. Oh, you guys, it's always sad to lose him at the rendezvous site. No! I can't say it, it wasn't expected at this point, but... Ah, uh, the illness in this game is rough. Oh, Lion. Oh, it's okay, hun. It's alright, hun. I think she's worried and... Understandably, she was pretty sick herself at one point. Well, we're gonna do what we can to take care of the remaining five pups. And Willow is still sick, but we are gonna have to sleep again, I'm afraid, because our stamina is gonna start dropping, and that can be very dangerous as well. So we will send Lion back in the grass here. And do our best to look after Willow. Oh, Willow! I'm sorry, Willow. Poor girl, she's not feeling well either. Alright, well it is the next day and Willow's also down to 16%. The pups are pretty close to growing up too. At 18 to 19 pounds, Lion is still our smallest. But we do need to worry about food right now because Maple's hungry, Hope is hungry, and more than that, the pups are hungry. It acorns down to... Uh, oh, just over 40%, which is not great, because that's gonna be a point when we start to worry about malnutrition. Not just yet. Oh, there's a beaver heading into the water. What's the wind direction? Okay, so we need to be on this side of the trail. That one we're not gonna be able to get, but if there's another one, then we may still stand a chance. Okay, yes, I see another one. Let's try and crouch. We'll get ready. We can, we can even get a little closer, I think if we're careful here. They say the beaver, you guys have said the beavers will have very poor eyesight so we can get very close to them. So we'll try and get a little bit closer, but I don't want him running in the water just yet. So here we go. Let's see if we can get as much damage as we can. Oh, oh no, he did grab us, but Hope got him off right away. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and uh, attack again. Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad hit. I need to remember to let Hope bite and then let go. And then we'll bite again, and then we let go. And nope, one more time. Oh goodness, nope, nope, nope. There we go, we'll get it, we'll get it. We got him, all right. I think I'm gonna let Hope eat that one because we are quite, Eric, Hope is quite low on food. We will also need to eat, so we're gonna try to find some more beavers, and then we'll try to bring one back to the pups here because I'm hoping there'll be enough on the others, but we can also try, or on the other, other trail, but we can also try and uh, try to find some babies as well if we need to. Um, I just think the beavers right now are a slight bit more reliable. Stay in the grass, y'all. I think the beavers right now are going to be a slight bit more reliable, if a bit more dangerous, just because, um, and I think the wind direction, oh, the wind direction for this trail is not great. There's two trails, actually. Are there any over here? If we're careful, we got to approach from this side. There is. I see one. All right, let's get a little closer. He's still walking that way. And then let's crouch. Let's try. Oh, he's running. No, he's running. No. All right, get a bite. Let Hope do most of the damage here. And then when he lets go, get another bite. There we go. Let Hope attack again. We did not even get a boost on this one, which is not ideal. All right, we have to be very mindful here. Hope can keep helping. Hope is losing some health from this too, so you do have to be cautious with the beavers in this. It's a lot better when you get the big damage boost. That was not smart. I bit too soon. All right, Hope can still get his bite though. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, make sure Hope gets bite and it's down. All right. I think we will eat this one. We'll see if we can get one more beaver, but then we'll head back to the den with the, or not the den, the rendezvous site with the pups. I think we have enough. Hope is, well, Hope's at 81. 
I think we'll have enough to feed them with maple at least if we need to like regurgitate for them. Okay, can we get any beavers on this side of the trail? Let's only drink water. We need to make sure we take advantage of that so that we can keep our stamina and our hunger up. But if there's more on this side of the trail, which I'm hoping there will be, come on. Oh, there is. Perfect. No, he's already running? What? Oh, he must... Oh, goodness. Okay, we botched that one. We're not even... I'm not even going to try for that. We're going to look for... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to send Hope back, and we will look for uh, some... Well, no. No, we need to... We need to actually, both of us need to go home. Both of us need to go home because we can't afford to be out here hunting for forever with Willow still sick, too. Yeah, all right. Oh, oh. No, he's fleeing. Never mind. All right. We need to get back and stay with Willow. Okay. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough food. So we will have to leave and go try to hunt again. As much as I hate to do that. All right. Hope, why don't you stay back with the pup so the affinity doesn't drop at an insane rate? Just leave him in the grass for now. Oh, that's really not ideal. And Maple is a little low on health, too, so we're going to have to be cautious. I don't know if the elk and the mule deer are back in the herds yet, so I'm actually going to pursue this mule deer scent, I think. Because the pups, usually by the time that they're 19 pounds, they're, the mule deer are up and running. So I'm going to try and go after this. Unfortunately, we are also losing a little bit of territory here. It's still holding on for now. But that's not my primary concern right now because we have a very, very sick puppy at the moment. And that's what we need to be focusing on as soon as we've gotten this food. If I can even find where this trail goes, does it cross the river? Oh, it might cross the river. Okay. Oh, okay. So the babies are not up and running yet because I just found the music. That's kind of convenient for now. Uh, it means that we'll have the chance to poke around in some of this grass and maybe find a baby here. Uh, it's also easier than trying to track down mule deer until you find one that actually has babies running with the, uh, group. I don't see where the mother is, though. Oh, but now we're out of range. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this baby and bring it back to the pups really quickly. Oh, there it is. It's the mule deer baby. And that should be enough to at least tie the pups over for now. It's not going to be much. We will have to hunt for them again right away as soon as we know what's going to happen with Willow. But I think we're it'll be enough for now. I just don't like the pups getting below 50% because I think it's at around 20 or 10% that they actually start taking damage. And it's unfortunately really easy for things to start to spiral in this as we've seen from the first one. So we need to... Unfortunately, we have to prioritize the well-being of the litter as a whole over staying with one sick pup. And I'm going to snatch that uh, that hair if I can find where it went. Did it go up here? Where did it go? We will bring this back as well. Just a little extra food for him. I don't think... Did Hope eat that? I hope not. All right, let's bring this back. This should keep the pups up at least higher on food. How is Willow doing? 7%. Oh, this isn't looking good either. Oh! Oh my goodness, just in the nick of time. Okay, she's at 4%. Holy cow. Well, I'm glad that wasn't a lot worse. Okay, I'm going to leave the pups here momentarily. I'm going to actually call Hope with me. We're going to try to hunt another beaver because I want to make sure that he has enough hunger as well. He's a little bit down on his health, so is Maple, but he's also down on his hunger. And I don't, I just want something that's not going to take super long. So if we can find another beaver, which we might, wait a minute. Hello? Who didn't finish the beaver carcass? Okay, Hope, Hope, please finish the beaver carcass. And there are more beavers heading up the trail. Okay, what direction is the wind? Oh, this is perfect. All right, we'll definitely be able to sneak up on this one, I think. We're going to ignore that one. We're going to try to get close to this guy. We're going to get right up to the trail. And then... No, he's running! Are you kidding? Oh, my goodness. All right, Hope, you're going to have to do most of this. We'll, we'll help you where you, we can. Oh, no, 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 don't bite him. All right, you stay off of him. I thought we could get closer than that. Supposedly, beavers have very poor eyesight, so... They're easy enough to sneak up on, but we just got a little too close. Oh, gosh, no. No, 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 no. Hope. 
Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I guess we are looking then for some some of the babies to hunt. Oh my goodness. Well, there's one right over here, fortunately. I can see the mother standing there. So hopefully we'll find her baby at least, and that'll give Hope a little bit of food. Oh, there it is. All right, ooh, gotta get it before the mother gets here. Okay, we're gonna give this to Hope. We're gonna hurry back to the pups. We actually need to sleep right away so that Willow regains her health, but the pups are all fairly full on food. So I think that'll be fine if we just sleep for a little bit. Just want to make sure that Hope has enough uh, food to regain his own health as well, because both he and Maple are a little bit hurt right now. All right, I think we're actually pretty close. We slept for a while, so hopefully everybody's health is pretty good. The pups are hunger is not, so we do need to bring back some food for them, but Willow's up to 67. I wanted to give a little extra time just to let her health restore, but you can see that Lion is the only one who's under uh, 20 pounds now, so let's actually call Hope. We'll leave the pups in the grass for now. We're just gonna, we're, I'm not overly worried about the affinity, because my top priority is to just pop across here and grab a beaver where okay what's the wind direction first things first okay it's blowing this way so we want to approach from the end of the trail there's usually one or two over here though so if we find one oh wow is there really nothing okay well i guess we're going to run to the other trail then over here cross back over the pups will um they will be losing some some affinity here but i think they'll be all right we won't be too far away we should just be able to run over here and grab a beaver if we're very careful and i think that'll be enough to feed them uh for now at least when we go and probably reinforce some territory holy cow okay yeah that got bad while we were resting that's definitely a concern okay are there any beavers over here they are most active at dawn and dusk, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there is one climbing out of the water. So if we're cautious, if we circle around, the wind direction is blowing this way, or towards towards us from that direction. So if we sneak along here, it's still there, okay. If we follow it cautiously, we probably will be able to jump it. We just need to make sure the wind doesn't mess us up. No, are you kidding? Okay, oh my goodness, Hope, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and do this the hard way. Nope, get off of him. Get off of him, Hope, I need you to bite. Hope, I need you to bite. No, my goodness, are you serious? Ah, the darn beavers. I'm, I'm feeling less and less inclined. Okay, screw this. We're not hunting beavers, we're gonna go back, we're gonna play with the puffs, and we're gonna do something else, because screw this, I am no longer a fan of hunting beavers. I would rather hunt a bunch of these hares to bring back for the pups than this. This is, this is unreal. I am, I am so upset. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm very frustrated with the beavers now, I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, you gotta be kidding me, right? Oh my goodness. And I think, yeah, Lion's at nine, or tw not 19.9, so we'll move these guys back in the grass, although I will leave Hope here, I think. Oh, he's right there, okay. We'll leave Hope here. We'll see if we can find some more hares. I'm just gonna try and bring back some hares, or preferably if I find a mule deer, I'll bring back a mule deer. But uh, I just don't think other than that, otherwise we're not gonna have a good time of this. There's another beaver on this trail. I think that's our best chance, so I'm gonna call Hope over. If we stay back here, it should not see us, and it has a long time long way to get to the end of the trail. There's whole there's hold on. Wait, those are the pups. Hope! Oh my goodness, you let the pups go so far from the grass. What in the world? Oh my goodness. Oh, I think we've had some quibbles with the hope these past couple of episodes. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a pretty good mate, but... Yeah, I think he does some things differently than Maplewood. Okay, please don't scare the beaver. Don't scare the beaver. You're not gonna scare the beaver, right? We definitely need to bring back food now because several of the pups are below 30 or below 40% now and down to the 30s. Oh my goodness. All right, he's, he's just swimming across, I guess. Oh, he's going for the crossing is what it is. All right, you've got to stay downwind of the beaver, though. As long as he does that, we should be fine. And we have more space to catch this one, so I think if we sneak up on it here and get pretty close, we are coming from directly behind it. So we should be able to crouch. I want to, like, actually crouch here. Oh my goodness, Hope, please crouch down as well. Okay, I think we can get a little closer, actually. 
if we're careful. Hope. Do not scare the beaver. Do not scare- Oh, okay. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay. No, I am- I am not doing well with this today. Alright. We we did not get the bonus. Alright. No. 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 Be careful. I'm not gonna die to a beaver. That would be, like, the stupidest way to go down. No, 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 no. No, you're not going in the water there. No, you're not going in the water there. Oh my goodness. It's hard to catch up to them is the problem. No. No! No! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate the beavers. I really hate the beavers. This is the worst. This is the actual worst. I keep not having the speed or stamina to catch up to them. Oh my goodness. All right, we need to play with the pups. We might have to do like an actual hunt because the thing is there's no food around either. Like I've been looking, there weren't hares and I found mule deer, but none of them had their babies with them. And there were, I don't know if the babies are still in the grass or not, but I'm not seeing any. If so, if we have like a whole other hunger crisis again, right at the end, I'm going to be really upset. This is, this is not a great way for things to go down. I'm not going to lie. I just need to get the affinity up a little bit higher so that we can actually leave. Okay, we finally found mule deer scent. Half the problem is all we're finding is elk, and that's not gonna help us if it's a herd and the babies are in the herd, because we can't bring them back, and I don't know if Maple will be able to bring one down well on her own. With a mule deer, it's at least more possible, and we can carry it back to the pups, and what we really just need to do is get the pups' health up. Okay, oh, thank goodness. All right. There's at least one baby here. I'm not sure if there's more than one. No, I think there's just the one. Smells like there's just the one as well, okay. Well, we should be able to take it down if we're careful here. I think we just needed to let our stamina go. The problem is the mother will be able to attack us, so we need to be mindful of that. Okay. All right, she's not attacking us yet. She's gotten a little confused. Okay, she waits for the baby to stop, it seems like, and then she, then she comes to attack, which makes sense because it's easier for her to get a hit in, all right. We need to be careful. All right, we got a couple in. Oh no, my ah, my stamina again, though, is going to be the problem here for sure. All right, Maple needs to let her stamina regen. We have to just take this kind of slow. The mother's really hovering as well, which is not going to make this easy. We need her to kind of outpace the baby so that she has to double back, but she's not doing that because the baby is really slowed down. She's starting to maybe... We're right here... No, she's just gonna go right for us if we do this. All right, no. Ow! Oh my goodness, okay. Yep, 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 this is gonna be a big problem. Grab it, grab it, quick! Ow! She still hit me for 100 damage, are you kidding me? All right, well, we got the baby. Now let's just hope that a bear doesn't come popping out at us again. The one good thing about the older mule deer babies is that, at the very least, they provide more food. So I'm hoping this will be enough to feed most of it. I, as long as Hope doesn't dive in and try to get a snack of his own, uh, because that would not be good. Uh, I really hope that he minds himself this time and lets the pups eat. He is watching over them quite closely this time. Alright, y'all. It is time to... It is time to come out and to get some food here. I hope they'll all eat. Hope. Hope, do not. Do not. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Well, that was enough, I guess. That was a closer ending than I would have liked it to be. I was worried we were going to go into a hunger spiral right at the last moment. But we have succeeded. That is Maple's third litter done. And with that, we will go ahead and wrap this up here. And next time we'll be taking a look at the grown pups and the, uh, the survivors here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, end this off here for today. It is endless summer, but we will not be continuing to play right now. Um, we'll be heading back to take a look at the grown pups the next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.